First pitch is moments away in Atlanta. It's the Marlins and the Braves, and it's coming up next. A picturesque look there at downtown Atlanta and Turner Field, site for this edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. Alongside me are Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Eric, as we get set to finish off this four-game series, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened so far. Really, this series has been one-sided so far. Fans here have loved what they've been seeing. Their guys have taken the first three games of the series. We've seen some brooms around the yard already. They want to sweep. All right, Eric, Steve will join us in a moment, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins, as their order will read like this. They'll match up against the young left-hander, Mike Miner. Christian Yelich. A move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. First pitch, 7-10. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. And now a pitch on the way. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. So the leadoff man taken care of here in the Miami first. And with that, let's check out the top of the scorecard and see how the Braves align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Ed Lucas will take his first cuts of the ball game here. He'll start this at bat with a knuckle curve right there, strike one. Ball hit hard to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. Yeah, a nice effort here at third. It gets on him pretty quickly. Maybe if he's a foot taller, he's got a shot. But this one had left field written all over it. Giancarlo Stanton will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Runners on first with one down. A 
slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Come set, now the pitch. That's on the outside corner, count two and two. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Under it now is Simmons to take it in for round number two. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion, and mm, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Garrett Jones will stand in here. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Yeah, that finds his own, but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation. That could come back to bite him. The one and one now to Jones. And he misses two and one. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, when you're struggling as a ball club, this is when you got to force the issue a little bit. And that can mean being aggressive on the bases. And now he's into second here on the stolen base. Swing and a rocket to third. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Get up there, big fella, and take away a hit at third. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Now the starting lineup on your screen for the Atlanta Braves, as announced by manager Freddy Gonzalez. They'll match up against the fellow you see right here, the veteran right-hander Henderson Alvarez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Justin Upton will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah. 
changeup. Good pitch there. One and two. Yeah, it's hard to look for a changeup there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. Throw bounces up to him at the bag, and he's able to cover up and hang on. Not the most fluid play, but he's out nonetheless. Chris Johnson will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One out, nobody on. Now the one oh pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there, but it's right on a dime. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Slice down the line at first. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Freddie Freeman will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Now a bullet fouled as the third base coach had to give it the old Ole that time. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Yeah, two straight fastballs in on the hands. They haven't produced a strikeout. So now two and two, you've got a few options here. Now the pitch. Fouled back. And this is swung on and missed. Might have even been a foul tip that's held on to, but either way, the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. We played an inning. No score. Jeff Baker will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one.
Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone, maybe even in the dirt. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. As a hitter, when you're not catching up to the fastball, and you're physically fine, a lot of times that means your problem is you're indecisive. You're not sure what you're trying to do at the plate. You're not confident. You're not trusting your ability. Right now, it's more mental than it is physical. Marcelo Zuna will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Called strike on the knuckle curve, and he's ahead in the count, nothing in one. Hit hard, foul but foul. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. No score here as we play inning number two. inside for a ball so he misses with two straight here and it's back to two and two and that's the right spot for that slider really try hard to tie him up inside and that's a good job to lay off too he takes strike three called on the fastball couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away yeah I think it's fair to say he didn't care too much for that call at the plate but was he right Show track says, yeah, I think he's got a little bit of a beef up there. That pitch looked to be a good few inches off the plate, and that's a tough way to go down. You know, no hitter likes to have the bat taken out of his hands. Rob Brantley is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And Hayward will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Jason Hayward will start things off in the bottom of the second. First offering on the way. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Yeah, you know, first time through, he likes to start guys off with a fastball. And it's a good one, too. You know, he'll run it up there in the mid-90s. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Ozuna will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Batting fifth, catcher, Ryan Domit. Ryan Domit will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now he swings and golfs this one into left center. It's going to work out for him as a base hit.
spell. This latest dry spell, it's dropped his average all the way under 240. So we'd like nothing more than to string a few of these together and get back into some kind of rhythm at the plate. Andrelton Simmons will stand in now, and he's certainly one to be wary of as you see the numbers there scorching hot these past 10 ball games. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. He'll throw back to second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. This ball's not hit all that sharply, and I think a lot of pitchers would have been content just to take the out at first base. But he forces it into second base, and he winds up getting his lead man. Dan Ugla will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Get your stuck on. Ball one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Off is Simmons. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Wow, they're trying to make something out of this inning after all. He's off and running here with two away, and he gets into second safely. So now all it'll take is a base hit to get us our first run of the game. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Side, but it's right where he wants that pitch to be. If you do take that thing, there's no guarantee that it won't be called strike three. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. This is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Yeah, that's nice to see a little patience up there. These guys have been what I would call overly aggressive these first few innings. Finally, somebody's figured out the importance of maybe taking a pitch or two. B.J. Upton will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1 and 0. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. Staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. On uh, that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Mm, just overmatched him there. Come on, 
Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. Close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. He just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score. Derek Dietrich is ready to go here as we begin the third. For the Shortstop, Derek Dietrich. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. A leap at the wall by Upton, but he can't bring it back. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. Oh, and you know what? I think he's going to kick himself out there in left field when he watches the tape replay and realizes just how close he came to robbing this home run. I don't think he quite got the timing down right because if he had, I think he makes this play. Instead, this is going to sneak over the wall for a home run. Henderson Alvarez will stand in. Pitcher, Henderson Alvarez. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Upton is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it, running it down. Christian Yelich will dig in with one in and one away. Now the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. In there, and it's even at 1. Bases are empty, one man out. On the ground is short. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Ed Lucas will stand in. A base hit his first time around. On the ground to third. 
throw in time, and the side is retired. Marlins are on the board first, thanks to the solo home run. We play two and a half. It's now 1-0 Miami. Mike Miner makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Mike Miner. First pitch coming. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Boy, what an outstanding play out there in left center field. This is showing no regard for his body. He's going to wind up getting a mouthful of turf, too. But he's able to hold on to the baseball. That's just very well done. Justin Upton will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Come on, Braves. Come on. Here we go. Here's a bouncing ball now up the middle, and it's going to sneak its way into center field for a one out base hit. As a hitting coach, that's what you want your hitters to do. Hit the ball right back up the middle. You get into bad habits when you try to pull everything, but here it just stays right on it, picks up a solid one out single. Chris Johnson will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Up and in for ball one. Come on, play hit now. And there goes Upton. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Boy, I think he's pretty lucky to get in there safely on this play. It's a decent jump, but I think a good throw might nail him down there. Instead, you see it's wide of the mark, off to the shortstop side of the base, and he's able to beat that tag to get in safely. Up and out over the plate, but a cold strike, two and one. For Upton, he picks up stolen base number seven so far on the year. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Freddie Freeman there, he'll hit next. Payoff pitch coming. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, at the very least, if you're going to go down, go down swinging. That's a tough way to make a second out when you've got a runner in scoring position. Freddie Freeman will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. In there, 0 and 1. Upton with his lead, now the pitch. Here's one that misses high, it's 1 and 1. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Now 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know, he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. Stanton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back to Turner Field following this. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. And this is what folks mean when they talk about time in the fastball. He looks at the first pitch just to get a feel for the speed, the movement. And then when it comes again, now he knows how to handle it. Garrett Jones will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. A look over to Stanton, and now the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. Now a slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Jeff Baker will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Just off the outside and it's 1 and 0. Oh. That change up away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Freeman is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Up next for the Marlins, center fielder, Marcel Ozuna. Marcel Ozuna will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Line hard to the left side. But this will be a foul ball.
Miner ready with a 1-2 to two balls and two strikes now. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Just a nice inside-out swing here. You'll see he lets that pitch travel deep, and, and those hands come through first, just shoots it the other way. Rob Brantley will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. Runner holding tight at second. Now the pitch in the dirt there, but Domit able to keep it at his feet. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that ball is out of here! So a three-run blast to straightaway left, and the Marlins open it up now four to nothing. One of the keys for him getting the victory in his last start, he did not allow a home run in that outing. But this is now two home runs he's served up here in the first few innings. You can bet there's a bit of concern over there in that dugout. Derek Dietrich will stand in again. He homered his first time around. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. And he takes ball one. No, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now, after the home run last time, you can see a more cautious approach this at bat. They don't want to get burned again. Three runs already home here. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. You figure he's taken now on the three ball count? Maybe even taken two. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And he's saying, give me a break. I mean, that pitch is right there. Yeah, I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. Henderson Alvarez will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch on the way. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Just off the plate and high, ball one. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Look into Domit. Now the one and one. Sweet. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. And this is what he needs out there right now. He has to find some confidence in those secondary pitches, and that's a good change up there.
and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. But the Marlins strike for three on the three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-0 Miami. Jason Hayward will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Center fielder, Jason Hayward. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. Boy, his control has been outstanding so far. And there's another pitch right on the block. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this is going to be a foul ball. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Stays alive as this is grounded foul. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. Here now the two-two. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And he drops it. So chalk that one up as an E6, and he really can't believe it out there. Ryan Domit will dig in. He singled his first time around. in there for strike one and you can see it he's upset with himself out there at short and he should be he's a big leaguer he'd like to get a ground ball here to get himself off the hook off and running is Hayward pitches a cold strike the throw not in time as he steals second well, they've got to figure out some way to shut down this running game. And I think it has to start out there on the mound with maybe the guy holding on to the ball a little bit longer or showing a couple different looks because they've been reading him like a book so far. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. That's in there. Base hit. Here's Hayward taking the turn at third. And the run is in from second as they're on the board for the first time, four to one now. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see. And he was right on that one. Andrelton Simmons will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. Now the first pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Baker for one. On to Jones. Not in time. And they'll just get the one. Yeah, you know, a double play there was always going to be a stretch. And that's where you just take that force out at second, get the lead runner, and then say, you know what? Thank you very much. Dan Ugla will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. And there he goes towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Baker's tag is there, and he's out at second base. And here's where your catcher can get you a big out just by the strength of his arm. I mean, nothing too exceptional here. He just lines his feet up properly and puts a good throw right on the bag, just the way you like it. One run on three hits and no errors so far for Atlanta. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. After walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half out. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Misses, ball two. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Two out, nobody on. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Still looking for that final pitch to get him out of this inning, but he's seen the count move now from 0-2 oh all the way to 3-2. and two. And this ball's hit high and deep toward the corner and right. And some trouble now in right field. And ball four as Ugla is aboard. B.J. Upton will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. First pitch on its way to Upton. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. On to Baker for the force out, and that'll be that. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Christian Yelich will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Left fielder, Christian Yelich. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. And he falls behind now, 2-0. A lot of balls down in the zone in the last inning or so. And I think that's in response to getting bit by those two home run balls. He might be a little leery of challenging guys right now, and I don't blame him. Keep it down there. 3-0 and oh now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Three zero pitch. In there, three and one. Not often you'll see a three zero slider, but when you need a strike, any pitch will do. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Now here it comes. Got him. 
Yeah, he did a great job of battling back from being down 3-0 to start the inning. But things weren't looking all that good, but he didn't panic. He trusted his stuff, and he comes right back with three good pitches to get the strikeout. Ed Lucas will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. And here's the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And you kind of wonder if he's learned anything out there. There's another pitch right down the middle. I think he's lucky that that one didn't get hit a long way. One out, nobody on. Oh, he looks to be back in control now here in the fifth as that swung on and missed. It's 0-2 now. Boy, he was so far behind that first pitch that he overadjusted and was so far ahead of this one. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a soft liner towards first. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Nice play there. Not always easy on a soft liner like that, but he waited, he waited, and then he got up there to make the play. So bases are empty here with two gone, and set to stand in the ultra-dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. In there, strike one. Well, he's really starting to hit his stride here in this fifth inning. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. And sometimes you can mistake being patient for being passive. I mean, unless he was really fooled there, that's a pitch he needs to be swinging at. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to, to show him a change up, give him a different look. Now the one two. And he got him. <laughs> Miami down in order, but they lead it four to one. Gerald Laird will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 11, Gerald Laird. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. Yeah, and this is something he'll figure out as time goes along. It's not how hard you throw. It's how well you can disrupt a hitter's timing. A grown up, guys are used to just blowing the ball by hitters. But once you get to this level, it doesn't always work out that way. Justin Upton will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. On, 
this is taken outside for ball one. Fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. <laughs> on the ground is short. This could be two. Baker for one. On to Jones at first. It's a double play. Well, that's just made to order right there. Two hops to short, easy pivot, not a lot of heat at second base. That's just a pretty routine double play. Chris Johnson will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And this one will be out of play off to the left. And here's a ball hit in the air. Jones is there, and the side is retired. One hits all they get. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Marlins four, and the Braves one. Your attention, please. New pitcher coming on. It'll be the hard-throwing left-hander, Johnny Venters. Johnny Venters. Garrett Jones will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. Down low, two balls and a strike. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Jeff Baker will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And this is swung on, and it'll be another chance out there at second. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Marcelo Zuna will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now a swing and he pops him up. 
This is right out in front of the mound. Venters has got it, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins as they hold on to a four to one lead. With Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskirchen with you as Freddie Freeman settles in to start out the inning for Atlanta. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. 3 and 0 oh now. Well, he almost hit him on the last pitch, and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Well, it seems to me like you've at least got to make him go after something. I mean, the bat never left his shoulder. That's making it way too easy for a guy leading off the inning. Jason Hayward will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. All right. Lead off man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late but it needs to start happening soon. The 1-0. Now a ball mined to the right side. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. Well, that is just picture perfect right there. You know as a hitter that you're going to want to make sure you hit it to the right side to get that runner to third base. But if you do it well enough, you get yourself a base hit to go along with it. Check it out. He, he lets this pitch get almost past him, but then he manages to still get good contact and send it into right field for the base hit. Ryan Domit will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Now, if you're Atlanta, you have got to come up with a key hit here. Now, that's been missing. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. And he gets on top of this one and sends it on the ground to short. One there on the first, and the throw's wide, but a super effort to lay out and keep his foot on the corner of the bag, and it's a double play. Well, you know, it looked like they might have had a big inning brewing here with first and third to start things out. They do get a run home here, but I'm pretty sure that's not exactly what they had in mind. Andrelton Simmons will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. 
That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And they'll go back down in the zone this time, but it's the same result. A ball, and it's two and one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And this is on the ground to third. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Braves two. Back here at Turner Field, it's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. Rob Brantley will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at bat in the fourth inning and what a big one it was a three run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. In there for strike one zero oh and one. Here's Simmons at short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next for the Marlins. Shortstop. Derek, Derek Dietrich, Dietrich will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Ball two now. And I think with no one on base, you know, this is a guy you need to come after. I certainly wouldn't be afraid to give him a fastball here. Down low and the plot thickens here three and zero. Oh. and that questionable call on the previous pitch it really changes the at bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on two and zero. Oh. No, now it's now. three and zero, oh and the tide is not working in his favor. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Now a sinker this time, but this ball stays outside as he loses him here. It's ball four. And that whole at bat, I felt like he didn't really want to challenge this guy. And I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order that you really have to go after. Henderson Alvarez will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Oh. 
pulls the bunt attempt back, but it's in there for strike one. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. A wise decision to pull it back. You've got to make sure you bunt it strikes. You're playing right into their hands if you don't. Called a strike as he pulled the bunt attempt back, one and two. Boy, he sure can sling that thing, can't he? He sure can. A very wide arm angle comes from the first base side. It's not straight either, it's moving. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. A tag for one, but they'll only get one as he's in there at second. Well, this is a nice job here of dipping himself up. You see him square and put this ball down over toward the right side of the infield, and that's just where you want it to be. They do put the tag on him, but hey, he gets the job done. Christian Yelich will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Come on, let's get this job done! Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. In there, one and one. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4 2 our score. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. One left for Miami as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Dan Ugla will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Second baseman. And this is fouled back and out of play. Down and away, ball one. Well, the guy you see right there calling the shots has opted to roll with his starter here to begin his half of the seventh. And that pitch count is a concern, so he may get the chance to finish this inning off and then call it a night. 1-1 one, one on the way. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Fouled back. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. 2-2 two -two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. And down by 2, you better believe they'll take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner. Here comes the shoot. 
Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Another payoff pitch. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. And now against his body, a jump throw. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Well, this ball's hit pretty sharply here towards the hole, but then you see he's able to backhand this thing and then use that cannon he's got to fire it across the diamond and get his man. B.J. Upton will dig in now, hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch on its way to Upton. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he's sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift, and he's fast approaching it here. Fouled back. A 1 1 now to Upton. Up high, two and one now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One thing that's happened in these last two at bats, it's driven up his pitch count. That's now 14 pitches just to the last two batters. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. The next 3-2. On the ground down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And Upton will reach as he looks at ball four. And there you get a look at his pitch count. You can see he's over the 100 pitch mark right now. So some of those mistakes are going to start to get magnified late in this ball game. You can bet they're keeping close tabs on him in that dugout. Ramiro Pena will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Too high that time with the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Upton holding. Here it comes. And there goes Upton. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Boy, that's a good jump right there this time. I think he had this one stolen even if the throw is on target. But you see the shortstop have to go up the ladder to get it, and that took away any chance of throwing him out. Upton with his lead, now the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and sent on the ground to short. Throw on to the first baseman. Jones is in time. Two away now. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. 
He has been phenomenal. And it's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this thing. Justin Upton will step in as the possible tying run, but just a single here could make this a one-run game. First pitch on its way to Upton. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Runners left in scoring position. One of the big keys to this ball game so far. Two out here and a runner at second. Not the greatest swing that time as this is hit back toward the mound. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. One left for Atlanta. They trail it here four to two. Luke Gregerson will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Ed Lucas will get us started here for Miami, and he'll have backup in the form of Giancarlo Stanton waiting on deck. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yeah, he must have been looking for that same breaking ball because that pitch, it's right there. Way outside. One and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 oh and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Yeah, there's a ball right there not hit very hard. So he's got to cover some ground in a very short amount of time. And he lays out there to pull it in. Nice play. Giancarlo Stanton will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. And he'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. There to take it is Ugla. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. And a look there at the starter comparison, telling the story of the ball game. One guy still going and pitching well. The other one, long since departed for the showers. Garrett Jones will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Swung on and missed that time as Jones finds himself behind 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. And the pitch. 
And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Pretty forceful about it, too. And the inning is over. Miami down in order, but they still eat this one four to two. Carter Caps is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Carter Chris Johnson will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first is Baker for the first down. And as we showed you a moment ago, this guy enters play with an ERA right around two and a half. So he's been a big part of this bullpen, and he gets the first guy he faces right here. Freddie Freeman will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control 0-2. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball as hard as he does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Jason Hayward will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. Fouled straight back. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. One, two. And he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. Jeff Baker will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Second baseman, Jeff Baker. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and oh now. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. And that alone can be beneficial to an offense. Here's the 2-0. -oh. 
And a sinker is over that time. It's back to two and one. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well, this is a pretty high degree of difficulty right here. It helps when you've got a strong arm make this play. You see him do almost a pop-up slide as he fields this thing, and then from then on out, it is all arm, folks. Boy, that's very well done. Marcelo Zuna will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes a 2-2. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. That's just a nasty slider now. Way off the plate. Plays on the hitter's aggressiveness, and he gets him to go after him. Rob Brantley will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. First pitch coming. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. Throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. One two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Hayward is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. And now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Mike Dunn is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 40. Michael Dunn now catching and batting in the ninth spot number 39 Ryan Domit get another shot he hit into a double play his last time outside target here and he hits it for strike one And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit fairly well out toward left field. Yelich is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Well, this is what you want out of your closer. Comes in firing darts, and it's a very quick out number one. Andrelton Simmons will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Go. 
inside with the fastball. It's 1 and 0. Pitch is sent toward the hold on the left side. It's going to sneak on through into left field for a base hit. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and at average, it'll climb a few more points. Evan Gaddis will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 and 0. Oh. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing and I'm just watching this game. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. One one pitch on the way. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he's fallen behind now. Three and one. This is a good fastball spot for him now. And keep in mind, he's got a big hole on that right side of the infield. Runner at first here, one man out. And a full count now, three and two. Might not be a bad time to have a look over to first. Make sure they don't have any ideas of trying to send him to keep out of the double play. Line hard. But foul. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. He may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, that's not going to help things. B.J. Upton will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And a swing and a miss at a pitch well off the plate. It's strike one. Ah, uh, good pitch right there. Right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time of it. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there, one and two. Slider that time as it's hit on the ground, but foul. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. You know, it seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. Looked to me like that was the right call. Tyler Green will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Let's go. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And EK, I don't know about you, but I really hated getting a bad call on that very first pitch. Hey, jeez. It puts you just in a terrible frame of mind. Two men are on with two men out. And a good job to lay off the fastball. They're close, but it's one and one. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will make the catch here to end things. And the Marlins will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. Not a lot of offense in this ball game, but what offense was provided came primarily from this guy, our tops player of the game. Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award to three or four different people, but you definitely can't overlook his contribution. He really played a great ball game. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 4-2. Good night from Atlanta.